What is up, people? James Rap Productions here, back with another video. And today, well, before the video starts, shout out to Jenity and Pug Studios for helping me out with this video. Also, he uploaded his own version of the Flying Kipper. I'll put it in the link in the description. And also, I guess some things to our videos trying to see Wheelchair Friends and stuff, I guess. Wheelchair Friends X3 Soto is coming back, baby. Anyways, enjoy the video. One winter evening, Henry's driver said, We'll be out early tomorrow. We've got to take the Flying Kipper. Don't tell Gordon, but I think if we pull the Kipper nicely, Sir Topham Hat will let us pull the Express. The special coal they gave you is working well. Hooray, cried Henry. That will be lovely. All kinds of ships use the harbor at the big station by the sea. There are passenger ships, cargo ships, and fishing boats also come here. They, some of it goes to shops in the town, and the rest in a special train to other places far away. This is the train the railwaymen call the Flying Kipper. Ready at five o'clock. There was snow and frost. Men hustled and shouted, loading up the crates of fish. The last door banged, the guard showed his green lamp, and the Flying Kipper was ready to go. Don't be silly, don't be silly, puffed Henry to the freight cars. The cars shuddered and groaned. Trickety-trock, trickety-trock, all right, all right. That's better, that's better, puffed Henry. Clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and the fire's light shone brightly. Hurry, 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 panted Henry. They were going well. The light grew better. Signal lights shone green as they passed. Then a yellow signal appeared ahead. His driver prepared to stop, but the home signal was down. All clear, Henry. Away we go. They couldn't know the switches from the main line to a siding were frozen and the home signal should have been set at danger, but snow had forced it down. A freight train was waiting in the siding to... A freight train was waiting in the siding to let the flying kipper pass, and the driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the caboose. The kipper is due, said the conductor. Who cares, said the fireman. This is good cocoa. The driver got up. Come on, fireman, back to our engine. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash, but Henry lay dazed and surprised. Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. The signal was down, sir, said Henry. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to Crewe, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox. You'll feel a different engine, and you won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Yes, sir, said Henry, doubtfully. 